Hey, you must be here to see my new video. Well, come on in. I'll show you. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, this new video is pretty cool, pretty extensive. I spent a little time on it. Yeah, it's about a deck uh, that me and my friend Joe built. Uh, pretty much a total rebuild. New footers, posts, floor joists, decking. We even did some pretty cool custom railing. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you can see it. Uh, I got it right here. Here, check it out. This deck was awesome in 1983. The seating benches for the railing was pretty cool, but we're gonna do our best to give it a better view. I'm going to show you how we're attaching this ledger board with these wedge anchors. Actually, space these out with a couple spacers here. Uh, we used a six foot level, came off our ledger board here, found the top of our support beam here. Now we're attaching it with these giant deck screws. We get three in each post, both sides. I marked this uh, an inch and a half down, center, an inch and a half up. This bottle jack we're using is awesome. Here we're just using it to straighten a beam we've just put in. But in order to replace all of the deck posts, we had to lift the sunroom and the decks above. It did it with no problem. This might not seem like a huge accomplishment, but we were so proud of ourselves because we remembered to turn on the camera. Oh, did you get all that? I did. Oh, perfect, John.
Yeah, we've started decking this deck. See, we put a border around the edge. Uh, the border is screwed on. Right the first row's got a screw in it, and then we're using these hidden fasteners, which I'll give you a lesson on that too. You know, these we've jointed these things. You can see the joints here. Every third one has the same joint, so but it makes a nice continuous look. I wanted to add we made a tool here out of a clamp to pull these two rows together. This this row here and this row here. We just because this one here is already fastened, so then we pull this one to that one with this clamp here. And how we did it was we just cut some pieces of metal here and screwed it to the clamp so that it actually I can get around the boards and pull them together when you clamp it together. It doesn't take much to pull it to hold it together, but Keeps them nice and straight. All right, pretty much pretty good. There we go. Yeah, one more thing, Joe. Uh huh. I get you. Go ahead and put one of those. Oh, one of these in. One of these in. So we put that, we put this fastener right, this hidden fastener, right where they seem. The last board he leaves the hidden fastener out until he puts the new board in and then just kind of locks it together. It doesn't kill it, but then he goes back and tightens the other side. thousand more times and we're going to be done. Tell you how we connected these stringers to the deck. We cut an inch and a half off the back of the string. These uh, stringers here to accommodate for this inch and a half. Then we attached all three of them together with, and then screwed it to the deck. Then we did something similar at the bottom. So once we put the treads on, it'll look the way it's supposed to. slab here I thought we'd show you what we're doing we send it to the house with some rebar we're gonna put in a drain here to keep the water up from underneath this deck because before it was washing the all the dirt underneath the deck away so we're gonna funnel all the water that comes down this hill out and away through that drain there and so anyway we're gonna clean all this up for slab
Well, it turned out great, guys. Here's a sneak peek on the next video, this custom railing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, this would be a great time to do it. Maybe even hit that bell so you can see us put this railing together.